Yes, gatekeeping is over. It's time for you to know. Yep. You can't use Kiddo on your iPad or tablet. The functionalities are basically the same. You can use any tool you want from text effects to text transformation to mockups to AI to a razor tool to the crop tool. So today we're going to be testing these features on the iPad and see how they work. Okay, so I have my iPad here with me. First thing you need to do is go to your browser, whatever browser you have on your iPad, Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you have in hand and then type kittle.com. We do not have an app, a Kittle app yet. So FYI, be aware of potential scams that cosplay as us on the Apple store or Google store. You can only access Kittle through the browser yet. We unfortunately do not have an app at the moment. All right, so we have here our beloved homepage, which we can explore a bunch of cool templates. Let me see if I can find one I want to use right now. Actually, I'm going straight to the editor, create a new project because we can also export templates inside the editor. We have this tab here in which you can choose a template, pick a template and, and it will be added to your current project. Okay, I like this. All right, so I'm going to use my pen, my Apple pen, but you can edit with your finger as well. If you think that's easier or if you don't own a pen, it's going to work just fine. I'm just going to use my Apple pen because it's what I've been using. I'm used to it. If you don't even like to use a pen, I think you'll be fine using your fingers and your hand. I just been using this for a while. So let's see what you can do on your iPad in Kiddo. Well, as I said, basically anything. <laughs> Uh, you can, of course, play around with text. You can change the color. You can change the font for sure. Let's change this font here. You can group stuff by clicking on the three dots and then hitting group. If you have a keyboard with your tablet, I do not own a keyboard for my tablet, but if you do have that, that it's even easier. It's almost the same as using, you know, Kittle in your laptop or computer. And then you can go and ungroup the same way. Let's see what other options we have here. Flip horizontal, flip vertical, forward. So all of the transformation things you can basically do on Kiddo as well. You just have to select the element and click the three dots. You can bring to the front. You can bring to the back. You can delete the elements, of course. You also have the layer panel here on the right just the same as in the laptop the editor is pretty similar if you already use kittle in your laptop or computer i don't think you're gonna have a hard time figuring out how the how kittle works on the ipad let's try generating something i want to generate an iced matcha latte on a white oops, white background okay this is pretty cool we can remove the background. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I'm going to delete this because I don't want to use this for my design. I don't want to use this. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff and I'm going to put this in the middle. And then I'm going to add my matcha in the center. And then you can see that there is, you know, this little weird spots that the AI background remover unfortunately did not succeed in deleting. So I can just use the eraser tool and then quickly delete this part that I do not want. Okay, I deleted that. That's out of the way. And then I'm going to organize the element. Then I can go over and change the background color by clicking on the artboard, I want this green. And of course, I don't need this text. And if I want to add more elements, I can go over the elements library and choose something. You wanna add more spot elements. And I can quickly duplicate an element by hitting the little duplicate icon, the little copy and paste icon. But yeah, it's pretty much how it works on your laptop. If you're not new to Kittle, you're not going to find it hard to use. You can also use the Brent kit. You can upload images if you want. Use textures. Let's add a texture. You can use the AI logo generator. So in general, it has the same functionalities. It has the same tools. You can use Kittle on your iPad basically the same way you use it on your laptop, on your computer whatever so if you have an ipad if you have a tablet 
go on and give Kiddo a try. It's an easy and really fun way to design wherever you want. If you go on a trip and you don't want to bring your laptop, bring your iPad with you. If you want to design something on a coffee shop and you have an iPad, easy, fun way to design. If you didn't know, now you know you can use Kiddo on the iPad. So that's how you use Kiddo on your iPad or tablet. Let us know in the comments below if you know about that or if you've been having using Kiddo on your iPad already. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Kiddo's YouTube channel for more videos like this one. See you in the next video. Bye!